here at the Sandberg guitar, bass guitar workshop with Henrik of Sandberg. Hello, good morning. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, this uh, is the workshop. This is here. This is basically how it all starts. Two parts. Uh, in this case here we have a European Ash. More interesting for you is Alder, because your base will be made of uh, Alder. Every base is always made of, of two pieces. Because a, a big piece of wood like this um, will, will start to twist and, and turn in either direction uh, a lot more easily yeah, than, yeah. than like this. You take, you take a lot of tension out of the wood if you make it out of two parts. So, and if you look here, you can see this is how the wood arrives. So it's really the tree cut into the long stripes. And we put the pieces together, pay attention to you that the grain fits, that it looks nice. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. not just like wood being put together, but it's, it's made a, we have acrylic templates that we put on so you can see through and actually see, okay, this one fits to this one. Uh, but not to that one. After this, they are being uh, glued together, of course. Then you have, then you have them like this. You can see here in the middle, it's two parts. And now we look for the ones that we prepared for you. I think now I take over the camera and film <laughs> you while you select the one you want. So what's the difference actually? What can I feel here? But right now it just feels like it's the same. Ah, no, it's not the same. Another. There is, there is some differences in, in, in the way. Of course, because it's wood, it's a natural thing. So does it feel like a base already? Try, try some lick. It feels like something I can hit somebody on the head. <laughs> <laughs> or you can prepare your breakfast on it. <laughs> yes, exactly. This is very heavy. Love at the first side, you call it love the first side. <laughs> what is the difference? It's all um, it's all older yeah. and the difference is just how and where the wood was growing. You know, so it gets some get a bit more dense and get a bit more heavier and some are more a bit more lighter. And then of course with some bases not with yours because it's, it's going to be a red non-see-through color but if you have a see-through color like three-tone sunburst you would say you might take uh, a one that's got a bit more grain yeah just for the look of it but that's not a big issue for me no the, the grain exactly thing. but the, the weight the weight is a big issue this one is lighter yeah and Ah, you ah, hear that? Ah, yeah. Wow, what a mid-range. And bass. The tone just it's, in this piece of wood. Yeah. It's got those <laughs> dirty low mids that you need. <laughs> exactly. Ah. And it's the same. Can you, it's still in there. <laughs> ah, it's still there. <laughs> You've done this before. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> That's so what you one? tell all no. the slates of, uh, of wood. <laughs> no, no, no. So, Henrik, we're ready to... <laughs> cut, cut, cut! <laughs> to cut this one. <laughs> Not cut the scene, but cut the shape of the body. Yes, exactly. 
And uh, for that, we'll introduce Kati. Hello, Kati. Hello. <laughs> she will uh, put the body onto the, our uh, CNC router machine, which is a uh, computer-operated machine where we have programmed all the different shapes. And uh, it will now just cut the outlines. Yes and uh, the uh, electronic compartment. This is the aging room or? The retirement castle. The retirement castle. Yes. <laughs> when the bases are turned from this brand new, brand new to a little bit older. It's a strange world we live in. Yeah. So now this is uh, my uh, friend and colleague Urgy, who is doing Urgy. Nice to meet you. And Urgy has prepared something for you. Actually, that's very uh, that's very close to ori the original color. Yes. So this is uh, first. I started. This is the first side with uh, only red and the normal undercoat, mm -hmm. the natural undercoat. And here we have um, red with a white undercoat. So um, I aged that for you now. So, and I can age this uh, with you together and I show you how I do it. Yes. Okay. Interesting. Good. Let's start. <laughs> <laughs> At least a little bit. We don't tell all the secrets. No, the no, 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 no. <laughs> and in the end, it's all in the fingers. The <laughs> magic fingers. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Everything is in the fingers. Exactly. And the magic throne. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Good. So on. If you have any questions, just ask me. The casual throwing of a stone. Yeah, it's uh, it's something like a stone. It's not a stone. You use that stones uh, to make uh, tombstones and stuff for graveyards. So I do all the cracks on the side. The good thing about having these kind of bases, you don't have to care for if it gets a scratch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the good thing about. <laughs> the it. more, the yeah. merrier. Yeah, yeah. Great because it looks old yeah, already, it looks just really with the, old, the yeah. heat uh, taken care of. Yeah. So then I'm just um, taking the color here off, I'm scratching it. So holding out the white undercoat yeah. to make it more original. Yeah, that is if it was original red fender that yeah, they yeah. would have that red uh, that white undercoat. Yeah, they use that undercoat. And that looks really cool when you can see the undercoat, the white one. Yeah, I like that. So this is uh, let me say this is okay now. Then I have a lot of a lot of bullshit tools <laughs> to make little holes in it. So. I like this. Uh, that like, it looks like a torture instrument. Yeah, the, it is. <laughs> yeah, it is from the Inquisition. <laughs> just hold it off on the camera, just a moment, just to see. Uh, <laughs> We have ways of making you talk. Yeah. So to make bigger, um, bigger dongs, things and dongs, I use chains and all that stuff. Just. Oh, harder, for harder, harder. Yeah. For example, you have the um, the knuckle bells. Yeah. They make all the big holes. Yeah. And it's like. And this is really like a knuckle belt. Yeah, that's true. place. So then I take this one to scratch it here. You're just making it smooth? Yeah, I'm making it smooth now. So then you can see all this stuff that uh, the red ones just came out. Because yeah. they're under the uh, surface. These are not all the techniques we use for damaging the bodies. But, um, these are more for rookies. Yes. So uh, the other um, 
Um, so what can I say? Uh, the other techniques are more treasures, <laughs> you know? Yeah. So we, uh, we keep it here. Yeah, uh, I'll show you some simple tricks. Yeah. So. so now I'm taking a bit of dirt and stuff. Mm -hmm. 